You what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 20 online game. Today we are at what feels like familiar territory over the past week or so. Soldier Field, home of the Chicago Bears. I think this is the third time we've been here over the past week. And we are playing against the Bears today using the Houston Texans. And more specifically, DeAndre Hopkins. The only 99 overall rated player on the offensive side of the ball today in Madden 20. We will be trying to get Nuke Hopkins in the zone and activate the X-Factor ability of Double Me on DeAndre. Of course, we use double me already on Juju Smith-Schuster and that might have been the most dominant x-factor we've used so far if you guys remember we played against the Patriots and Juju literally won us the game because my opponent would not double him he was just making crazy catches all over the field so let's see what a 99 overall player can do with double me guy I think Juju's what, like an 86 or something like that as you see we're using JJ Watt on the defensive end while we're trying to get DeAndre Hopkins in the zone I also want to see if I can get JJ Watt in the zone specifically by using the defensive line which we never do but you know when I don't use it the defensive line it's been quite a challenge to get defensive players in the zone like when we tried it with Vaughn Miller we tried it with Aaron Donald and failed we did it with Khalil Mack so it took us a while so I'm gonna see if using the defensive line using JJ Watt myself can help maybe I should be trying to use Jadavion Clowney because it seems like when I'm using JJ Watt I'm just drawing a double team every single play to the point where the safety is able to scrape in for a free shot at Trubisky a sack on third down that brings out the field goal unit to start the second quarter and we will be getting the ball back we've made zero progress in getting deandre hopkins in the zone deandre hopkins only needs three catches of over 20 yards but of course you have to take downfield shots and once you do it once your opponent's definitely going to be keen in on you for the rest of the game and uh, when you're using the houston texans you should be keen in on deandre hopkins at all times as hopkins is left one-on-one -on -one against amuka mara but prince wins that battle deandre hopkins though is trying to win the war on the bubble screen and nuke is gonna go all the way deandre hopkins does not do anything for his x factor unfortunately with that play it's really cool and you think it might help but the 20-yard gains need to be in the air. It can't be a bubble screen, then you turn it off. As you guys see, the counter is still at zero for that reason. As my opponent's going to answer right back with a shot to Gabriel in the corner. A bad angle we've taken with Justin Reed. And that's going to allow Gabriel to not only get the catch, but get the touchdown. Of course... That doesn't really hurt my feelings too much because we are mainly trying to be on offense right now and let DeAndre Hopkins get in the zone. So, you know, it, it might cost us the victory, but we've done a really good, an abnormally good job of getting players in the zone, forcing the ball to them, and still managing to win games because... I would show you guys games that we get players in the zone and I lose. I don't really care about that. As long as we get them in the zone, they do something cool. It just happens to be that we manage to win these games pretty much every single time. As Khalil Mack's going to get the sack, we might accidentally put Khalil Mack in the zone as we just absolutely force the ball to DeAndre Hopkins. Obviously, I'm just trying to see just how dominant DeAndre Hopkins can be to the point where I'm throwing it to him in triple coverage. Fourth down and 14. Hopkins stops in the route. So we're going to Thomas and that'll be the tight end who is not going to make that catch. I didn't come close to making that catch. Once I bombed it downfield, I realized who I was throwing the ball to, and I was like, I was better out throwing it to DeAndre Hopkins, who stopped at his routes. As you guys see, Trubisky's having a pretty good game so far. Tariq Cohen, we know how deadly Cohen is in the open field, playing with him and against him. That'll be Gabriel getting his second touchdown in the game, splitting the seams. That might have been our bad blowing an assignment right there. Either way, the Bears take a 10-point lead, and I was talking all about how we haven't lost a game while trying to get a player in the zone might have jinxed ourselves as we're looking for Hopkins middle of the field that'll be a catch is that going to be a 20 yard gain no exactly 19 yards so the counter stays at one out of three as we try to force that out route that was covered too so I'm kind of surprised that wasn't picked by four I guess four was playing over the top we had nuke over the middle but Khalil Mack comes in so quick we can't get the pass off third down in 20 just gonna squeeze that one into Thomas at this point we have to worry about trying to get the first down try not to lose this game more than anything else fourth down and six gonna go for it deandre hopkins one-on-one -on -one. thank you very much against buster screen that's as easy as you like it deandre hopkins first down touchdown and one away from activating his x-factor ability and we're not even at halftime yet i believe we were struggling a bit more to get juju in the zone so to make this much progress with deandre so far as we've accidentally ran commit is encouraging 
And on top of that, we're working our way back into this game. As long as we don't run commit again, it should be a three-point game heading into the locker room. As Allen Robinson nearly makes a beastly catch as we try to get the interception. My opponent kind of putting his hands in the cookie jar. Not a bad idea to just dump it down to Tariq Cohen and see what he can do. This will be the last play of the first half, barring a penalty. See, I'm still trying to use JJ Watt, but... After we've given up a couple of points, I, I kind of shied away from the J.J. Watt thing. I was like, you know what? Now that we're close to getting DeAndre Hopkins in the zone, J.J. Watt's kind of a lost cause at this point. We don't have a single sack with him. I haven't been really close to generating any pressure. I'm just not really that good with the defense alignment. I'm just not one of those kind of guys. I got to hop on my corner and my safety and make some moves on the defensive end because our defense has been kind of getting torched in the first half. And just like that, my opponent has put his hands in the cookie jar. An errant throw from Trubinsky and to Sean Gibson is off to the races. That will be a pick six against pick six bomb that felt good to get that pick six against our opponent considering what his gamer tag was as soon as i got the interception i knew exactly what i wanted to do with it sometimes i kind of give myself up when i get interceptions to not get the pick six when we want to try to get an offensive player in the zone but against this guy i had to go for the pick six as my opponent once again puts his hands in the cookie jar this time it's going to be colvin with the interception can we get back to back pick sixes i tried I tried, but Kyle Wong brings us down at the 13-yard line, which is not really what I want because we need to get 20-yard gains with DeAndre Hopkins. So I'm actually considering trying to knock myself back a couple of yards. And Khalil Mack's going to help me out. I was still trying to figure out whether I want to do it or not. Khalil Mack said, get back there, son. Hold on, I got to get in the zone. So let's get this pass off as quickly as we possibly can, hopefully to DeAndre, and we've got it to Nuke. That's a touchdown, and that will not only knock Khalil Mack out the zone, but... Put DeAndre Hopkins in the zone. Check and check and onside kick. Yes, we've onside kicked my opponent. Even though we were just down by 10 points not too long ago, all of a sudden we find ourselves up by 11 and onside kicking to try to give my opponent some hope in this game to make sure he doesn't rage quit if we get stopped on this next drive. I am going to try to stop him. Uh, this guy, I feel like, is pretty decent. He was decent enough to get a 10-point lead on us. So, we just got to... Continue to bait him. He's put his hands in the cookie jar for the third time in the quarter. The first one was an overthrow from Trubitsky since he threw it out the back foot. That was still his fault. But otherwise, he's just, you know, making constant mistakes on the offensive end. And he's made a major mistake on the defensive end by leaving DeAndre Hopkins one-on-one -on -one when he has double me activated. And there goes Nuke. Touchdown, Texans. This game has turned into a blowout all of a sudden. DeAndre Hopkins is the main reason why this game has turned its tide on my poor opponent. He thought Kyle Fuller is a superstar cornerback. He can stop DeAndre in the zone. No, it doesn't matter who DeAndre Hopkins is on. As long as the cornerback is not in the zone. Otherwise, that's just the battle of the Titans and both players are in the zone. As Zach Cunningham gets the interception. Here's what I'm talking about. Where maybe we could have gotten the pick six. But I kind of turned myself to the side right there. So we could get ourselves back on offense. Is he going to leave DeAndre Hopkins one-on-one -on -one again? He is. What is he doing once again? Kyle Fuller is left on an island. And DeAndre Hopkins is going to make him pay. We call hurry up. And we're going to see. If he doubles DeAndre Hopkins, it says in the name, double me. And it looks like he's not. He's moving Eddie Jackson to the side. And that means Nuke is just going to throw poor Kyle Fuller to the ground. Fuller didn't stand a chance. No one did with DeAndre Hopkins in the zone. That's three consecutive catches in single coverage. Surely my opponent has to make the adjustment at some point as Jadavion Clowney gets his second sack. If Clowney had an ability, an X-Factor, we would be closer to getting Clowney in the zone than JJ. I think JJ has one sack, Clowney has two. Trubisky at this point has thrown four interceptions, now working on number five. And he should have had it there. Justin Reed jumped that route. Fourth down and five. Desperate situation for the poor man. He is going to convert to Anthony Miller. At this point, though... He has to be wondering what in the world happened to him. It's been an avalanche since it was a 7-17 game as he gets the low ball. Actually, I don't think it was a low ball. I think it was just an errant pass under pressure that actually worked out for him really well. So we'll get the touchdown on the play. He definitely won't begin the two-point conversion running a jet sweep with Allen Robinson. And he's going to onside kick us. This is necessary. I mean, we did onside kick him, so that might be part of it. But he really does need to onside down 19 points. DeAndre Hopkins still in the zone. Is he going to leave DeAndre single covered? Oh, it looked like he was or he wasn't, but he actually peeled off of DeAndre Hopkins. I threw that ball thinking that 
DeAndre was already doubled, so we get, do get the gain with Will Fuller, but at the same time, though, we're looking for Hopkins one-on-one -on -one against Eddie Jackson, and that is going to be an incompletion. Not only an incompletion, it doesn't count as a target for Hopkins, so we have to throw it to DeAndre here, or else he is knocked out of the zone. So, DeAndre, do your worst to the Bears! Oh, that might have counted as a double team. Maybe if I held that ball for just a second longer and then threw it to Nuke, that would have counted for us as Deshaun Watson. Oh, he's getting sticky in the open field and I've accidentally slid at the one yard line. I want to dive in the end zone and that will cost us seven points surely because on the next play, it's an interception for Kyle Fuller. So double me once again proves to be crazy. Once you get a player with double me activated, you just, it completely changes the way you play defense because you have to shift over an extra defender to that guy or else it's GG's in the chat. He's just going to catch it. As you guys see, it doesn't matter if it's a superstar. I mean, it kind of does because you guys saw Eddie Jackson did force the incompletion. I don't know if that counted as bracket coverage against DeAndre Hawkins since Fuller was kind of there as well. Still, though, like, Kyle Fuller one-on-one -on -one got burnt like toast. So, yeah. Like, double me is definitely crazy. You see my opponent just doing whatever he can out here. At this point, like, I'm kind of cool with just getting out. I've done what I had to do in this game. I guess he's trying to do whatever he can, which is continue to feed me the rock. Like, come on, bro. Colvin gets the interception once again. So we'll just continue feeding the ball to DeAndre Hopkins. Why not? On the wheel one-on-one. -on -one, that'll be incomplete at this point. Like, no one else is getting the rock. I, I see Will Fuller. I also see DeAndre Hopkins. By the way, Deshaun Watson has that same... Well, um, fast break. No, it's escape artists that Russell Wilson had when we were just cheesing with Russell Wilson. Same thing Cam Newton had. So Deshaun Watson also has that ability. So that's what, partially why we we're able to scramble around Watson the way we did on the previous drive. Their fourth down conversion, no good. Whatever. I just try to force it to DeAndre. See how OP he was. Unfortunately, he's forced the ball and he's going to get rewarded because I accidentally hit stick his receiver. So that'll give him a first down and go up the two yard line with under a minute to go. JJ Watt absolutely stuffed that run and and I believe that is the fifth time, the fifth time my opponent has put his hands in the cookie jar. So you know what? We're going to celebrate. I'm taunting too much, but you know what? This guy has to learn his lesson, all right? There's only one way to learn a lesson, by taunting him. Like, five times you put your hands in the cookie jar, bro. Like, at this point, your hands got to be black and blue the amount of times we swatted you away as we are going to get the ball to DeAndre Hopkins. This guy's trying to use your Kyle Fuller on that left side. I don't know what he's trying to do, but... No, you're not going to guard DeAndre Hopkins one-on-one. -on -one. We're just going to call hurry up right here. No need to call timeouts or anything like that. We've done what we had to do with DeAndre. So we'll get this game over with. And that's a dominant victory, even though we were down by 10 early on. DeAndre Hopkins, 11 catches, 313 yards, and five touchdowns. Once again, when we put a receiver in the zone, they just go God mode. Think about Odell. He had 340 yards. Juju, when he absolutely took over that game. The third quarter. An absolute avalanche. 28 points in the third quarter. Poor, poor soul. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed 99 overall DeAndre Hopkins in the zone. Subscribe for more Madden 20 gameplays. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much, as always, for watching.